So the genomic buildings will house uh, uh, people from nine different departments. It will be plant biology, uh, plant pathology, chemistry, uh, it will be uh, bioinformatics people, it will be uh, people from statistic department, from neuroscience department, from entomology department, and we all will be housed in one building. This is very important, especially these days, because it, that's how you stimulate people exchange of idea in exchange of uh, uh, learning new new uh, type of science and uh, this is uh, changes in big science in the country and the whole world that what is happening at least in biology biology has to go across other disciplines and this particular building will lend itself for us to do it easily it's a building of young, driven, incredibly talented young PIs, postdocs, graduate students, undergraduates, and it's fantastic to be around them. And because we just discuss things, idea comes all the time. So for example, we have four or five labs working together, exchanging everything. Uh, uh, space, more or less fluid, you need a little bit more space, you will occupy more space. So I think it's so important in these days, we have open door uh, and uh, kind of philosophy. So these young people who are shaped by that will be very successful in the future because that's what is required to survive a new science, so to speak. We will have a wonderful piece of art which was created by our professor of art uh, at the University of uh, California Riverside, Jim Eiserman. He is a fantastic artist. We need something of that high level in this campus, and I think that building will provide uh, this opportunity.